What's good, what's good, man? So we just came back from the gym. Y'all know, man, gotta get that gym life in. But I just was thinking about this. And I was just, I talked about this last night to one of my female friends. And I was telling her, like, I used to be, I used to be all for homeless people. Like, I'm still for homelessness. Like, I still support homeless people. You know, even I had a video I just dropped recently about me helping homeless people. But I used to be, like, over the top. Like, I used to be angry at rich people because they wasn't giving back to homeless people. And over time, since I started this new journey of mine, I realized you homeless by choice. A lot of y'all. 80% of homeless people are homeless by choice. I could go higher, but I'm not going to. I'm going to stop at 80. 80% 80 of homeless people are homeless by choice. You know how they're homeless by choice? Because they gave up. They, it's just that simple. They gave up. And that's why I talk to y'all so much, man, about self-love and, and just motivating yourself. Now, I understand people say you need other motivation to, to push you and to want you to do better. But at the end of the day, it's about what's in there, man. What's inside you that ticks you to say, I got to keep going. I got to make life better for myself, for others, however you want to do it. What keeps me going is the fact that I know if I don't do it, Nobody else going to do it how I wanted to. This is why I said I, I can't give up. Nobody going to love my daughter. Morgan Nicole Lipkin. Yeah, I know I have two daughters, but I'm going to get on that. Why I don't really mention my second daughter a whole lot. We'll talk about that later in the future. But right now, you know, Morgan... Morgan lost her mother at three, at three years old. For y'all that don't know this, my daughter, the reason I'm a single father is because her mother passed in a car wreck when she was three. My daughter is now five. My daughter been with me. The, the day her mother passed, the night or evening, however it happened, I wasn't hearing I wasn't in the same state. When I look at my daughter, bro, the day her mother passed, I was in this state the next day. I was here the next day. Granted, I was basically homeless. Now, I wasn't homeless because I was in a relationship. I was in a relationship. That's how I got my second daughter. But, at the, you know, in a way, I was homeless. But I wasn't homeless. You know what I'm saying? Or you don't know what I'm saying. But, you homeless by choice if you homeless. You got, it's something out there that should motivate you to say, I just can't sit here and lay on side the road, bro. I was just in Memphis, right, on vacation. This dude was just laying there. Now, I done seen homelessness at an all-time high because I lived in Cali, too. So I done seen some foul stuff, man, some ill stuff. But it just, now it's all refreshing because I'm just like, wow. You just really don't give up? You. We understand. We Listen, we can't blame mama. We can't blame daddy. We can't blame the government. We can't blame the white man, the white woman, the system. We already know how corrupt the system is, you know. But it's some fair people out there. Everybody not going to be fair. Every black person you meet not going to be fair. Every green person you meet not going to be fair. Every Chinese, Asian, it's some unfair peoples out there, and there's some fair peoples out there. 
But when you get your mind right, when you get your energy right, and when you just say, I'm no longer just going to give up. I'm no longer going to be homeless. I'm no longer going to be homeless. I'm not going to give up. Watch what the universe do. He going to throw some people in your present. They're going to be great peoples to be around. They're going to motivate you. They're going to push you. That homeless shit gonna gonna fade away out your life. But as long as you got the mindset of giving up, you're not gonna be surrounded by positivity. People that can uplift you when you feeling like you're homeless. See, when I was homeless, I still had motherfuckers in my ear saying, and I wasn't really homeless. I chose to be homeless. I chose to. I was staying in Omaha, Nebraska. I was making a lot of money. I had got my own business. A lot of y'all know this. And um, the person I was staying with, she just was talking shit. You know, like, like, you know, I should be kissing her, her feet and shit. Like, that's how she would treat me because I was staying with her. And I'm like, man, you know, me, I'm very strong-minded. I'm, I'm a very masculine dude. I, I, I love being a man. You know what I'm But I wasn't all the way a man because I was staying with somebody else. You know, how you going to be a man? You feel me? It's different between being a man and being a semi-dude. You know, just a dude. A man going to be on his shit. A man going to handle responsibility. So I wasn't 100% a man because I was staying with somebody else. I didn't have my own. You feel me? So when you don't have your own, you leave gaps for people to treat you like shit. When you, when you need somebody else and when you leaning on other people, you leave in gap for a motherfucker to disrespect you. You know, some of y'all only people, some people are just so fucking evil and, 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 and disrespectful that they want to abuse you when you need them and when you homeless. Some people like, some people like the fact that they can see a homeless person and feel like I'm better than that motherfucker right there. Like, it do that to some people. Some people, they they want to be what to somewhere where they not. You know, they get caught up in this celebrity shit, social media. Social media fucking you niggas. I, I, social media fucking a lot of people's over, bro. Y'all get caught up in these lifestyle. So, they can't be, well, Beyonce or Denzel. Because they, they can't focus on their own life. But they can look at that homeless person and be like... I'm better than that motherfucker right there. I'm better than that motherfucker. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him asking for money. Look at him. Look at that. I ain't took a bail. Some people love that. Some people really feed off of that shit, bro. That they can see another man down. You feel me? Y'all know what it is, man. We all got those family members that love to see you in a bad spot. But to stay on point, I chose to be homeless because... I let pride, I let the fact that I wanted to be a man so bad at that point, and in and, and, and truth show that I wasn't ready to be a man, you know, but at that point, I can't, I can't let nobody treat me as in I'm beneath them, you feel me? That's something about masculine men and, and, and men that, that know they worth. Yeah, I was fucked up, but I knew, I knew I'm a, you know, inside, I'm a king. You know what I'm saying? So I just refuse to let a motherfucker talk to me because I'm still doing good. I just fell off a couple times. And that's what life going to do to you. Life going to knock you down a couple times. It going to make you think you homeless. It going to make you think you got nothing to live for. I, we all been there. If you never been there, bro, you not living. If you never been to the point where you said, man, I don't need belong in this world, then you ain't been trying. It's just that simple. If you never got to a point of your life, you said, I can die right now. You ain't trying. You ain't trying. Yeah. The strong going to keep going. But the weak, they going to say, fuck it. I'm out the game. Because it's a game. Life is a game. The weak going to sit there and lay down on the street. The strong, we know, we know if I just keep going. Yeah, it's hard, man. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta sleep over here, sleeping in, in, in houses. 
I slept in the fucking house. So when I left my friend's house, my only choice was to go to somebody else's house, right? The person house that I went to, she was moving. So we couldn't move with she already got a family. You know, it was me and my cousin and one of my girls. I had a girl with me too. You feel me? And she was ride or die. And that's actually she she was a rider, bruh. That's my second daughter mother. She she chose to be homeless with me in a way. Like, bruh, she could have left and went with her rich family. You feel me? She chose to stay in an abandoned house with me. You know? And the man I am today, I didn't understand what I had. You know what I'm saying? Granted, I'm not, you know, missing it now because I'm missing the fact that I'm not in my daughter's life, my second child. But like I said, that's a story. We'll get in that later. But that girl chose to be homeless with me. That girl helped me build my business. I had a pallet business. She was the only one that really helped me and really wanted to help me. Like, listen, I had a female help me with my business. And like I said... It was just crazy, but to stay on top of the homeless shit, this woman moved, right, with her family, and so all of, we was in the fucking basement. We stand in the fucking basement, she moved, right, so when she moved, everything about to get transferred to her new house. So we stand in this fucking house with nothing. We, you know, like the lights and shit stayed on for a couple of days till they got transferred, but when they was off, they was off. Then guess what? Now we got to move to another basement. So now we got to give in to her family side. So now I got to go stay with her. With some people she know. And guess where we at? In the basement. Like, bro. I done did some shit that I never thought I would do. Never thought a situation I would never be in. Like, staying in abandoned houses. I never thought that would be me. Stand in somebody's fucking basement. Never thought that would be me. But I chose that life. I didn't have to take that route. If I just would have sucked my pride up. Continued to grind and just went and got my own shit as I did. I didn't have to even fucking go the route to be homeless. But I chose it. So a lot of you, a lot of homeless people choose to be homeless. And because the video getting over 10 minutes. I'm going to say this and I'm going to end it. I now respect people that doing something. And if they don't want to give back to homeless people, they don't have to. That's my point on this. Just because a motherfucker doing good, no, just because I want to give back and I want to support homeless people, don't mean I can go bash the motherfucker that got millions and be like, yo, why he ain't giving back? You can't force nobody to give back because they didn't give up. You gave up. You want him to give all his hard earned money to you because you gave up. That don't fucking work like that. You cannot force people to say to help you. You ain't even help yourself. You just gave up. This motherfucker was spend, spending all that time at work leaving his family. You know, to go support his family. You know, to, to do all this shit, travel on the road. And, and these people out here doing all this. And you just going to sit here and lay on the street and ask people to, to force... They force their hand to give you money because you gave up. People that doing good, they not forced to help you. You feel me? Now, if they want to help you, that's cool. But nobody not forced to help you. And they don't got to. I used to be real hard on people that doing good in life. And I used to always be like bashing them. That's what knowledge will do to you. Knowledge will make you. If you're not a hypocrite, then you're not growing. You feel me? You got to be a hypocrite to grow in life. It's so many re things. I always say you got to go through pain to grow. You got to be a hypocrite to grow. It's so many things you got to do in life to grow. And being a hypocrite is one of them. Because once you get knowledge, you're going to change your old habits. I know I don't get mad at people that doing good and don't want to give back. I understand why not. You know, but like I said, I'm different. I want to help. I want to help. I want to change the world and make the world better. That's just me. But the next man that doing good, he not forced to help you. And don't try to force his hand. Y'all got to get off y'all last man and do the same thing that he did or she did. People that doing good in life are not forced to help you. You are homeless by choice.
Some of y'all can actually fucking get up and go to work just like he or she did. Get your ass up, man. But I'm used to this, though, because, you know, it's like I said, bro. Some people, it take one day. Some people, it take two days. Some people, it may take a month. <laughs>